1960s, John was trying to track down coach. Someone told him he's down at the gym. John said, what gym? The new gym. John had an office, an office on Nassau Street. He went out and bought two big, tall 16-ounce beers. 16-ounce beers. Walks down to Jadwin, sits right over here on the retaining wall in front of Caldwell. Sees coach sitting there by himself. Hands him the beer. Coach never says hello. Never says thank you. Starts drinking. John said to himself, I'm not going to say a darn word to that guy until he talks. After a long time, coach finally turns to John and says, can you imagine putting a bad basketball team in that building? Coach absolutely loved Princeton basketball. Short time after I was hired as head basketball coach in 2011, he handed me an index card with three words written on it. Think, see, do. After he handed me the card, he stared at me for what felt like 30 seconds with that are you listening look. We know that one too well. Coach was first a history teacher, heavily influenced by the teachers in his life. He would often say that the role of a coach is that of a teacher. And if one of us didn't know how to do something on the basketball court, make a hook shot, throw a left-handed pass to the corner, his job was to teach us how to do that. We'd repeat the moves over and over until we got it right. His record here proved he was a master teacher. If you don't mind, I'd like to share what those three words, think, see, do, mean to me, thanks to Coach. Think. Think about what the most important thing is to do and do that in practice as often as possible. Think through carefully how to work through all the different teaching points on one side of the court, then when it's time, move to the other side. And then which player does, which way does that player that you're guarding move or prefer to go, right or left? And then ask regularly, and Chris Tomford, you did a great job of this, but I'm gonna try my best, and coach's voice, what were you thinking? <laughs> C. Watch what they do and then ask questions. Did you ever cut hard in high school? Don't respond right away. Observe very carefully how someone does something and then ask them to do it again. Is it same? Is it different? Be sure to let them know that you believe in change, in growth. What are they doing to make themselves experts? And then ask all of the time, yo, what do you see? <laughs> do, be on the floor and engage and teach, be tireless. The do part is the work. The goal is to become a worker or to overcome something that is in you and push through it to where you can see change. This is the moment that stands out for you and for coach. Craig Robinson told a story about the fall of his senior year. We would play open gym runs and coach would sit right up there and watch us play. Never paid attention to NCAA rules. <laughs> coach really wanted Craig to work on a reverse layup, one foot, right or left hand when he was in the post. Craig goes into that move, makes the reverse layup. He's running down the court, hears from the rafters. Yo, Craig. <laughs> Coach loved to be around people that worked to improve on their own. 